Hello, this is the uh, first part of a two-part tutorial I'm making in Blender 3D for beginners. And it's going to be modeling and texturing a pencil. So this is going to be part one, the modeling of the pencil. Um, I'm going to try to make this pencil kind of to scale. So for me, since this is America, um, I'm going to be using the Imperial system. So to get to the Imperial system, just over here on the right in properties, you can click on your scene up here and then open up units. So none is blender units. Metric is the metric system. Um, so you can use that if you want to. It probably makes more sense to more people, but I'm going to use Imperial. And then the other thing I'm going to check is this box right here that says separate units, which just makes it go Instead of saying 2.9 feet, it's going to say 2 feet 11 inches. Um, okay, so that's just going to make it easier for me to uh, make the pencil to scale. All right, now I'm going to delete this cube. I'm going to press Shift S to get my 3D cursor to the center, and then Shift A to add a mesh. And I need to add a cylinder for the pencil. Now this cylinder has six sides. Um, if you don't have this toolbar on the left, you can just press T and the toolbar will open. So when you add a cylinder, let me do that again. When you add a cylinder, this little window will pop up on the left. If you don't have that, there's probably like a little plus sign down here that you can hit that'll make it come open. And then you can, uh, if you haven't done anything to it, you can change the amount of vertices it has. But for this pencil, I'm going to do six. And you can also change the radius and depth and whatever that is. I don't know what that means. So, okay, so um, let me scale this down. And since I scaled it in object mode, you have to apply the scale. So control A, apply scale. Let me go into edit mode. And let's see. I'm guessing that a pencil is probably six inches long. So one, two, three, four, five. So, so I want it to go about up to here. So x-ray mode, box select the top, bring it up to about there. Um, actually, I need to scale it down. I'm guessing a pencil is probably about a quarter of an inch wide, something like that. Okay. Um, close enough. And then let's see, let's make the tip of the pencil. Um, so I'm going to go to face select mode, control tab does that and delete this face. You go back to vertices, option right click just selects the edge loop. So it would option right click would just select that loop and then extrude Z scale E to extrude again and then Z on the Z axis scale that down again this is kind of the lead part and then I'm gonna add a face okay so while I'm here I'm gonna do some vert vertex groups um, Doing vertex groups during modeling helps a lot later, like if, if you want to add materials to a certain part or in, in the rigging especially, it helps a lot just to select certain vertices. So um, on the right hand side under object data, which is this triangle, you can just uh, find the vertex groups, click on this triangle and open it. I'm going to add one and call it lead. And then don't forget to hit a sign right here and that'll assign these vertices to the group. Uh, let me go to face select mode and x-ray view, grab this part, and I'm gonna make this part the wood. So one more group, wood, assign to there, and then let's see, one more time. For this part, I'm going to add another one, and I'm just going to call that paint because it's the painted part of the pencil and a sign. So now later, if I want to do just the paint, I can pick that vertex group, hit select or deselect, and it'll do the paint. 
this will hopefully, yep, that's the wood. And then this will do just the lead. That'll make it easier for selecting and deselecting parts of the pencil later. Uh, the other thing I want to do right now up here is I want this, just this part to be smooth shading. So over here on the sidebar, again, press T to open that and scroll down until you find smooth shading. So that's just going to make kind of like the painted part will look flat and then the wood part will look smooth. Let's make the lead smooth as well. So I'm going to use this vertex group, select the lead and then hit smooth. Okay, let's go down <clears throat> and make the little metal thingy that holds the eraser. So I'm just going to go to face select mode, select this face, and press X to delete faces. Um, and then just select this loop, extrude Z. I'm going to scale this one up just a little bit. And then extrude Z. Um, let's bring it down a little more. That looks about right. Now let me bring everything up. I think. Okay, there it is. Okay, so the pencil is flat, but this metal thing should be kind of round. So I'm just going to um, select just this bottom part, which is the part and subdivide it. So W subdivide. So that'll subdivide just the bottom part. Um, let's see. I don't need this edge loop quite yet. So X delete edge loops. I don't need this edge loop. So X um, delete the edge loop. Okay. And then um, I want to scale just these middle ones out a little bit to make it look more round. Um, but I don't want to do the top because I want it to go kind of from square to round. So um, x-ray mode, I'm going to press B to D box select. Um, so for me, like box select selects all of them. To unbox select on mine, it's like I have a spinny wheel thing on my mouse. So if I press that down, oops, if I hit B and then I press down that down and then box select, it box deselects. Um, it's probably different on some other mice, mouses. Um, I don't, I don't know how to determine the difference, but on mine, that's, that's how you do that part. So I'm just going to look at this from the top and only scale those. Oh yeah, and my I want this to be on median point. The pivot point should be median point. So scale that out just to make it rounder. And then so when you scale it, yeah, it scales it in all the all the directions, but that's why it kind of looks all spiky. But to to conquer that, you can just option right click this edge loop, scale Z zero. And that just kind of average finds the average Z value of all of them and just makes it flat. So let's do it again up here. Scale Z zero. Um, now it's a little bit higher because it does find the average height. So we just have to grab on the Z axis and bring that down a little bit. Um, let's see. I'm going to make this smooth shading. Let me select all this whole bottom part. Oops. And I'm going to make that smooth. OK, now let's make the little ridges that are on the metal part. So control R to do. I'm not going to count. I'm just going to estimate a bunch of loop cuts. Um, let me select like, I don't know, that many scale Z just to bring them a little bit closer together. And then. Um, Oops, I need to bring one more down. Let's get them all about even. Okay, so I'm just going to select these and scale Z. 
oops, I guess I have to do them one at a time. So scale Z, scale Z, okay, and then let me go to face select mode and option and select that, and I'm just going to scale this out just a little bit, scale that out just a little bit, scale that out just a little bit okay let's go up to the top um Okay, I apologize for that last part. <clears throat> um, sometimes when I'm speed modeling, I start talking like a chipmunk. Uh, okay, so we want to add a vertex group for the metal. So I'm just going to select this thing we just made, the metal part. Um, add a new vertex group, and I'm going to name it metal. And assign, let's just select, okay. All right, now let's make the eraser. Um, so I'm just going to select this edge loop, loop, extrude, scale, extrude Z. Um, let's put a face on it and scale that down to about there. Um, okay, let's do one edge loop. Scale that out. I just want to make it kind of rounded. like an eraser would kind of look. Let's see. Let's go to face mode and bring this face up. Uh, okay, that looks good enough for me. Now I'm just going <clears> to <throat> make a vertex group for the eraser. So add one more. Oops. Eraser. And a sign. Okay, so our pencil should be pretty much modeled. Actually, this whole bottom part looks a little bit too big. I'm going to scale that down um, just a little. Let's see. Okay, close enough. So we should have the whole pencil modeled. That's double check our vertex groups and then the modeling should be done. So the lead is just the tip, the wood is the part around there. Oh, that reminds me, the paint. There is one more thing I need to do, the paint. So I need to remove this all from the paint. So select paint, remove. Let's see. Okay, and then metal. Need to remove the eraser from the metal. So let's see, eraser, select, and then go to metal, remove. Okay, so metal, yep, eraser, yep. Okay, so there's one other thing I wanted to do up here towards the tip, is I want to kind of just... Uh, Grab this loop, go to vertex mode and press W and just subdivide it just to get these extra little vertices right here. And I'm going to kind of, um, let's go, kind of make these just a little jagged just so it looks kind of like the pencil got 
sharpened a little bit. And let's see, let's bring this one and this one up. Okay, now our pencil is modeled. All right, I'm going to make the second one a, a separate video, and it's going to just show how to make all the materials and a UV map and all that stuff for the pencil. So um, hopefully I'll have a little link that you can click on that will take you to the next uh, tutorial. All right, thanks for watching.